Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop where I have my vacuum box almost complete and I made a new bug. <laughs> okay, I was out running around almost all day. I made a new plug. Okay. Now I'm trying to decide what to do to this plug. A couple people said private, don't paint it. A couple people said private. A couple people said just go with it. Just like this. But I want to I want to sand these ribs out. And uh, so my 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 plastic won't have that in there because it actually recesses the plastic way down in there. I got a couple real tiny air bubbles. So I want I want to fill them with some filler. And uh, I want to sand these out. I'm going to use my dot coat, but I ain't going to do it till tomorrow. I just popped this out of the mold not too long ago. It came out a lot better. I let it sit in the mold longer. And my edges didn't crack out. But that came out really nice. So. It sits really flat. reinforced okay that's gonna sit right there and I made me a new lid check this bad boy out okay why well, am except how am I gonna keep my plastic in there Wham! Well, check it out put my plastic in there clamp it and I got this shimmed in the back so it's a little bit thinner than the plastic I'm going to use. Got these shims up here. Now it's just been killing me. What am I going to hold this with? I didn't want to have to put screws in it. And I was looking for hinges today. But <laughs> oh yeah, I had a hard time finding the hinges I wanted. I wanted some hinges that would fit there. But I had to pull out my pin. You see because how I hinged. You see how I hinged that? I just pulled that pin out and ran it through the wood. It only goes about halfway in there now, but it's all right. It's got a couple other hinges, and that's all it needs. That way, that hinges up. That hinges like this. Now I got to build this up. I got to build me a little box with that pegboard on top of. Then I'm going to drill a bunch of uh, with my hole saw, a bunch of holes in there, and screw that down onto there. So, because that board actually needs to come up flush to here with, uh, with, uh, with that wood on it. So I got some extra poplar. I'm going to cut it to the thickness I need. Smash that down a little bit. And uh, so that will be the same height. So this will sit up the same height as my plastic. Okay, but it's going to work great. Stick it over there. Let that stuff get hot. Shoot. Suck her down, baby. Now, I've been watching some videos on YouTube. And a couple guys said, you know, the ones with the heating element on top works better on these big parts. Uh, but I only got to go to here. You know, get good canopy. It don't have to be good all the way to the bottom. I don't know. We're just going to try it see how it works. If it don't work very good, well, me and John will reconstruct it cut that off and do what we need to do but shoot I've seen people sticking these things in their oven <laughs> and then coming over and doing that and, and uh, I don't think this will work put them right there now the question is what am I going to clamp these things with I want to be able to clamp them down and not be in the way and uh Check these bad boys out. Like, what's on your cooler it goes up and then comes down. I'm going to put them on this lip right here. Wham! Put this one up here. And that will lock them together. That's kind of the plan, anyway.
playing I am, Sam. And I think I'm going to put another board up in here and not make that quite so wide. But I'm kind of waiting to hear back from Butch on how long my drop tanks are. Because otherwise I'm just going to be wasting plastic with every every time I pull a canopy, a bunch of plastic. But if I can keep it that long and pull them dang drop tanks, I think that would be awesome. Awesome, awesome. And then, uh, um, uh, a guy can always put another tank, you know, around a fuel tank inside them plastic ones and have smoke or more fuel. He's got all kinds of good ideas. Okay, that needs to go right there. This, good thing about doing this though, if I don't like something or put it in the wrong spot, I don't care. Really care what it looks like. I just move it over and put my screw somewhere else. You know, without it have it looking too junkyard looking. That's going to be fantastic. That will work fantastic. Just above center. Just, just a frog here above center. So I'll pull that thing just a frickle tighter. Look at this old Wes. Got on eBay. And, uh, you know, he, uh, found a thing on YouTube on how to save batteries that go all the way out. And I think he might have them batteries. salvaged on that dang haboo but it's only going to cost him about a hundred dollars 120 bucks to get that thing flying again He just ordered a castle speed controller. Okay. 